holy peace. Our first speaker for today is also the youngest speaker for the program. Fatima Salim Kodia was born on 13th March 2006. She is only four years and three months old. Presently in Junior KD, she aspires to be a dynamic teacher, inshallah. Fatima is a very bright, cheerful, and a very creative child. She is focused at such a young age. She is a keen observer and a quick learner. Honesty and humbleness is an integral part of her nature. She has the art of winning the people's heart by her simplicity. Her hobbies are coloring, reading storybooks, and watching Dr. Zakir Naik's DVDs. Her ambition is to be a Dai and spread the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and bring people from darkness to light. Brothers and sisters, guess what is the greatest gift bestowed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the Muslims? What is better than the wealth and the treasure of this world? Yes, it is the gift of Hidayah. Yes, it is the gift of Iman. Yes, it is the gift of faith. For without knowing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, our creator, how meaningless this life would be. But once we have this world's best treasure, it is very important to nurture it, to nourish it. Sister Fatima will show us how to save our Iman. Brothers and sisters, please welcome the youngest speaker for the day, Fatima Salim Kodia. Hush, little baby, pure and small. He created me, he created himself. Hush, little baby, don't you fear. Alhamdulillah. Wassalat wassalam. Ala Rasulullah. Walali wassalam. Ajma'in. Amma ba'd. A'uzu billahi minna shaitan rajim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Ya ayu ala zina. Amanu. Ku. Anfusku. Wa ahlihu. Naran. Rabba shay sadri. Vassalli amri. Wahlul. Uqtadam milsani. Yafko koli. Maris patellus. And my dear brothers and sisters, I'm come off you for the Islamic greetings. Assalamu alaikum, rahmatullahi, wa barakatuhu. The peace, mercy, and blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be upon all of you. The topic of my talk is how to save Ariman, brothers and sisters, today, before I continue, we know how important it is to save Ariman. Iman is the most valuable thing in this world and in the Kira. In this world, Iman saves us from the evils of the societies and your own nafs. Watch about the Akira. In Akira, Allah is not going to check how much money you have. Allah is not going to ask you how many children you have. Allah it's not going to ask you that. I was not going to check your degree, your diploma, whether you're a doctor, be a holder, MA, or PhD. No, he is not going to ask you anything of this. But what? Allah is going to ask you is about your Iman. The Prophet Sallallahu said, La tatkulul al jannah. None of us can enter paradise. Hatta tu'minu. Until 
You have a man. The topic is how to save a real man. And then the prophet continued, Walla to menu hatta tahabu. You will not have a man until you love one another. Now, how do you love one another? Do you love one another? A future brothers, a future sisters, the Prophet Salam is asking the Sabbath shall not tell of that which will to end then your love between yourself. The Prophet Salam is asking us do you want to know how can you strengthen your love among yourself? The Prophet Salam said Afshush Salam Abainaku Spread the word of this the great young Islam every day to see and the Muslim say Assalamu alaikum. It increases your iman by going on saying these good works. Allah will strengthen your love among yourself. While you have the love to save your iman, one of the other ways to save a man is by pondering over the meanings of the Quran, which Allah has revealed to explain everything. And as the light to guide the humankind, there is no doubt that it contains a most powerful and effective cure. Seeing from knowledge to knowledge that leads one to fear Allah and increases one's weight in Him is also of the ways to save a real man. From that the ways is doing a lot of righteous deeds and filling one's time with them. It is a part of mercy and wisdom of Allah that He has given us a variety of acts of worship to do, some of which are physical, such as Allah, the third, Nawafil, Sunnah, Tahajjud, some financial, such as Zakka, some combine both physical and financial aspects, such as Umrah and Hajj, some are spoken, such as Zakir, Adulwa. All these deeds would increase us our mind and save it from destruction. Even the smile to the one whom you meet increases our mind. Look at your parents, your teachers, your friends. Everyone smiles at them. Because smile is a sadaka. Inshallah, you'll get all the blessings of Allah. But this, I would like to end my talk by quoting the verse of Glory's Quran, which I recited in the beginning of my talk from Surah At-Tahim, chapter number 66, verse 
सिक्स या Jazakallah Fatima that was amazing may Allah help us to strive and save our iman amen i feel the peace Inside of me, a complete 